Now, in a look at business news this evening, Zimbabwe is currently importing more goods than it is exporting as the country battles to narrow its trade deficit. Now, the Ministry of Industry has set up a manufacturing board whose main mandate is to spearhead manufacturing se output, sector output growth. The Ministry of Industry and Commerce today announced the local content strategy steering committee for manufacturing. This in a bid to fortify governments by local strategy and reduce the country's import bill. This steering committee has been constituted as part of the implementation of the Zimbabwe Industrial Reconstruction and Growth Plan 2024 to 2025 which we launched last week in Mutare. The minister said the team has been commissioned to address high importation of specific products that have the potential to be manufactured in the country. The ultimate objective is to reduce Zimbabwe's import bill and serve foreign currency. In terms of scope, the local content strategy steering committee for manufacturing has been tasked to identify and prioritize manufacturing subsectors which have capacity for import substitution through utilization of domestic resources, as well as backward and forward linkages with other sectors. In 2018, the manufacturing sector's contribution to the GDP was 14.8%. It has since gone to just 9%, according to 2023 figures. To add perspective, between 1980 and 1989, manufacturing contributed 23% to GDP on average. The newly minted board is expected to collaborate with government in coming up with solutions in addressing a number of economic challenges in the country. These include, but not limited to the proliferation of illegal imports, lack of affordable financing and power issues, as well as foreign currency shortages. Uh, business in Zimbabwe uh, to thrive and to prosper, we do need to be able to have you know adequate uh, you know affordable you know financing for their requirements. We do need to have a stable macroeconomic environment, and we need to have a way that we can um, upgrade our skills. The chairperson of the committee, Charles Msipa, highlighted that a stable microeconomic environment is very important for any business endeavor. Turning specifically to manufacturing sector, um, I think that we uh, many many uh, in the sector do not have adequate access to affordable funding to upgrade their technology, their production uh, capacity. They uh, they are not uh, adequate. There isn't adequate funding. Capacity utilization in the manufacturing sector fell by 2.9 percent points to 53.2 percent in 2023 from 56.1 percent the previous year. The establishment of the manufacturing board is a strategic move to revitalize the sector and improve its contribution to Zimbabwe's economy. For ZTN Prime, I am Francisca Mcheche in Harare.